Oh boy. Or at least let's 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 try to talk about VV. Yeah, let's try to you know <laughs> diagnose what what went what, on. In what this just what episode. the hell just happened? <laughs> Like honestly, I don't. I don't even really care about. And this is awful for me to say. I don't really care too much about Ophelia and Antonio know, right? and, and their whole, you know, focus of this week's episode. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's kind of uh, a usual trope that's used in that regard, where you know you, you you have these clash of ideologies and trying to do the best for each other that leads to you know this very tragic end. Um, but more so, what we were talking about, you know, before the podcast is what the hell was going on between the whole monologues happening between, you know, Vivi or Diva uh, and the Toke member. That's what, so you know. Is it base- so is it basically, did he actually just like AI himself in a sense? He, yeah. I mean, yeah, he like, upload, yeah. He, yeah, I think he uploaded his consciousness in the robot body. I think okay, that's, that's what that's what I thought. And <laughs> yeah. And he's still just a dick. He is just See, determined to be mad should... about something for some reason. I don't yeah, really get I, why. I forgot by now. Like okay, but like that one part where he was like saying to her, Don't ever forget you've hurt people. And then I sat there in my head trying to think about at what point AIs in the show have actually tried to hurt people. Or that we've seen that happen. Did it happen at any point? <laughs> I, I don't know. No, I mean, not. besides That's the, the, besides the uh, little near automata dolls in the metal float episode that tried to attack everyone. Yeah, no. yeah but, well, I know, but that was like from the future. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. time up to where we're at. We have never seen any evidence of them hurting people. They follow their missions and they're happy to do so. So it's a little confusing to me that he has like such a hard on for like killing all AIs that he then became the thing he hated just to go after her. That is yeah, really it's, intense. It's like yeah. reasoning was not not really that that good like it's like seems like everything he doesn't like about ai he's just like he's just projecting onto them like it's like his personal <laughs> problem that and that's why he joined the organization yeah. like well uh, i mean i guess i'm assuming like we still don't know you know what the malfunction was that occurred to diva i know last week you know we talked mm-hmm. about um her kind of coming to that you know huge climax at the end of the episode where she ended up shooting and kind of killing herself at least from the scene that we saw of her last um Mm -hmm. before you know flashing forward to this current timeline where it's diva not vivi vivi's kind of you know locked in the back of the ai brain mind um but it almost seemed like you know it was something that he stumbled upon because he was you know in that metal float facility when all the events were going on back in the past there so i wouldn't be surprised if he walked up as well and saw what happened to vivi and then obviously he's holding some weird grudge for that or if there's something you know further that happened after shortly after the events of the metal float that we don't know that like vivi oh, something something more, revelation yeah, yeah he's talking about the yeah. revelation okay but i mean that was really vague yeah <laughs> Uh, so, I, I guess it's like yeah. something else. We'll, we'll have to wait to see if that gets explained. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like... all, all I can say though is I, I definitely uh, was digging his uh, like cannon hand that he had. <laughs> oh yeah, during this week's episode, I mean, just, like the, the beautiful animation being the Mega Man. That. If we can say yeah. Anything, yeah. one thing about about this show, it's like the fight scenes are are epic. Like if they do a really yes, good job really with good. that. Uh, yeah. so, I really like hand hand. Like hand hand animation looks. Yeah, this, the CQC. <laughs> Like, like where, 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 um, where was this attack on Titan? Come on, wait. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um. Um, but yeah, and then Matsumoto at some point had some sort of speech with VV2, that I, or Diva, I guess she was still Diva at the time, maybe. I can't mm-hmm. remember when it happened. It was all so nonsensical to me. I couldn't tell if they were trying. It felt like they were trying to parallel whatever was happening between uh, well, VV and Matsumoto against Ophelia and Antonio, like yeah. to like emphasize the emotion that we're supposed to feel for them. Is that right? Because if that's the case, I'm just going to ignore that monologue and just pretend it never happened because it's kind of irrelevant. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't. No, it, it's uh, the um, why well, I, I think with the whole thing with Matsumoto is just because like we saw him at, from the beginning where he just wanted to just do his mission, did not care about Vivi, just as long as she just kind of followed him. Mm-hmm. Or just you know did what she, you know she was told, but I think it was also it was just more showing like where Matsumoto like I guess trust I don't know if it was like trusted Vivi more, um mm-hmm. with just kind of like what I guess like what kind of just going like a little bit off course. I I kind of got like that like that was okay. his kind of like part of the speech. That's kind of what I what I got from it. But uh, it I, feels like from what we've seen during the show, like we don't really see like him like actually really going that process of really trusting Vivi. She's like it seems like. Their relationship just just is them just always arguing. So I don't really the way yeah. he says they like, got better. They got better, but like the way he says it in this episode, like I don't really feel 
It feels weird to hear, well, hear him say it because, like, we didn't really to, see that much in the show. To be fair, David, they've been skipping years. <laughs> they've been skipping I guess. Like, so. I guess. We're but it's also years, years and they don't see each other. Like, they're not interacting during that time to get yeah, closer. Right. So. Well, well, yeah, most of the time, yeah, it, it seemed like. But, you know, who knows? Maybe there's yeah. um, other stuff yeah. that we're not seeing. I think, like I said, the biggest thing is we need the revelation of, you know, what happened to Vivi after the, the metal mm-hmm. float period. And. Yeah. More so what I imagine is going to be leading up to this very climactic, like, event or, like, uh, surprise of, like, how this all went into motion. Probably. I I think there's definitely still some piece that, you know, is going to come to light. I'm still in the mindset that this all started because of Vivi in some weird way, but... Yeah. Yeah. I could kind of see that. So is D.Va dead now, then? Like, is she still singing? Is that mission gone? Is it just Vivi? Well, I, I assume this is just being Vivi, thing. right? Like, yeah. Well, weren't they basically saying like that? Yeah. I don't know if it's the case. Like they couldn't coexist in that body yeah. of like yeah. those two personality types. And so Diva accomplished her mission or, or did her final, you know, utmost when she did the mm-hmm. final performance at the Zodiac concert. And then she kind of just gave, you know, the body back to Vivi because mm-hmm. oh, Moto needed her to continue on their their mission. <laughs> Yeah, but then does Vivi still have a singing mission too, or is it just her mission? That's what, yeah, that's what mission. I didn't get. I, don't know. I thought it was. Yeah, I thought the singing was always Vivi's mission. Yeah, I think that's so I too. Original mission, or, I guess. It's like that. That's the one that's programmed to her, whereas like this, the yeah. other stuff is what like Matsumoto gave to her, and so yeah. It's like, and the reason that Diva only existed was because of the little girl from the very first episode, right? Mm-hmm. That gave her the nickname Diva. Her, mm-hmm. her original name was always Vivi. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, or was it the other way around? It was the other way around. The other way around. Yeah, it was yeah. The other way around. Okay, 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 okay. Yep. Sorry, <laughs> I got confused oh. for a second. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I was trying to think. So good for keeping me honest there. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I'm just happy to move forward from this concert. I didn't really care too much for Ophelia again. Un- unfortunate as it is, it's just kind of like, Dude, it's like yeah, the okay. Whole, <laughs> the whole trope of like. <laughs> Oh, no, I was just going to say, it felt like really forced drama and miscommunication. It reminded me a bit of what happens in, like, K-dramas. <laughs> like, oh, they just didn't communicate properly. They both wanted to sing for each other, and then it got horribly twisted, and now they're both dead. I just, <laughs> I yeah. don't, that's, why did it have to be this way? Like, that's, like, like, so extra. Like, that trope in the whole, like, I want you to only look at me. I'm pretty sure was, there's, like, a specific word in Japanese for that. I just don't know why, but, like, because it's seen so much. Like, I know there's got to be a word for that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go back and rewatch Yuri on Ice. They might say it in there. <laughs> <laughs> the only other thing is, too, it's like, I think like, they've been saying, yeah, it's been like, what, 40 years since the the incident with Tok with when he was mm-hmm. way younger. So I think, what, you're for, mm-hmm. we're 40 years into the 100 year or something. So mm-hmm. I'm just oh, like. Oh, I thought it was I thought it was 40 years since that point, I thought. Is, but it wasn't. But that, that's since like we the last original. saw him. Was it since we last saw him? I thought so, him? yeah. Or was that's why I, I, I thought so. Yeah. Oh, that's what I think. I think, okay. I think we're. I think we're, yeah. I think we're so pretty we're, close to the hundred years. Oh, okay, so we're yeah. really close. Yeah. We're getting yeah. there. We're probably in like the sixty to eighty range, more so wow. towards the eighty side. Okay. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, we only have what like three episodes. Four? Three or no, four? I think I think this is thirteen. Yeah, we have four. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So I mean, yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> I don't feel like this is going to be a sec like a second season deal. I think this is going to no, be a just, oh no anime original. It's not going to be an original. Yeah. Usually it's one season only. So. So I'm hoping it wraps up. I mean, I, I had nothing really against this episode. Like how you guys already mentioned, I did not care about Ophelia at all. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. But I actually like the you know, just like the the bits and pieces that Matsumoto said, uh, and also just kind of excited to just get the normal Vivi back and just try to figure out like mm-hmm. you know or find just, out what happened with that whole situation. It just feels so weird that like, we had like what two episode like just this thing or like where it's just she just lost her memory or whatever and now it's back like it's, i don't get <laughs> hey, the man. point honestly like anime originals 13 episodes you got like, limited time it felt so weird to have such a reset yeah All right oh we'll, we'll see it well see how they, they bounce back 